Hey y'all, good morning. Watch me on my daily mama routine on Golf Mania Homestead. This is Jerusha. Welcome to our channel. What's up, Paul? Y'all, I'm tired. <laughs> hey, hey. Oh, another day. Praise Jesus. Let's see. You up to? I got to unload the dishwasher because I didn't wash dishes yesterday. And load the dishes. Into the dishwasher. Okay, y'all. Dishes. And on to some laundry. And I clean the table off because we went to see my parents. Put it in the dryer. And wash machines empty. So this moment's changed. I'm wearing one of my other designs. It says Homestead Sisterhood, Farming, Friendship, and Fulfillment. If you want to purchase one of these, let me know. So I'm going to be working on the countertops. I need to clean them off because I need to clean the stove off. And I have a whole bunch of stuff on my counter that I cleaned up out of um, a cabinet. We're going to clean up this mess and wash some big pans. I get a little kid milk. You may see milk. Mm -hmm. Y'all, yeah, everyone of the mamas that found a missing dish somewhere? Yep, that's me. And if you ask, do you have plants in your window? Yes, I do. I have tomato starts that I'm reading. Let me show you. There is my cherry tomatoes that I saved. I'm going to be replanting. And this one is going for the sunlight. It's like, hey, it's a cherry tomato. These are some plums. This is a plum and this is a yellow pear. Got plants. Gardening plants growing inside my house. Because I'm obsessed with wanting to get my tomatoes this fall. And yes, I recycle. Snooky. I'm gonna let that sit a minute and I'm gonna clean off this counter because I got my air fryer here that I gotta wash out and a few other things. Say hey. 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 
Good job. Hey. That's dirt from one of those cups. But I'm about to make some tea. dishwasher off while I have an audience. Anybody else think about that 11-11 time where they say it's where someone thinks of you from heaven type kind of stuff? It's nifty whenever you look at the clock and you see it. Little is mine. You're always changing a kid or cleaning up a kid. But you know what? I don't want, I wouldn't change it because these moments don't last forever. They, um, they're few and far between. You don't always, there won't always be this little. Look! They will, they'll be on their own little agenda when they get older. And you won't have moments with your little ones. Even if it means changing their diaper. Changing their butt. Change mm. your diaper. Mm. It's a yucky. Oh. Yeah. Poopy diapers well, are part daddy. of mommyhood, part of daddyhood, part of life when you have kids. Oh, oh no. And then there's potty training. Ew. And then potty training. Riding a bike. Learning to read. Hi. Hi. Doing something wonderful. So I gotta put sugar one handed into my tea while I hold a little stinker stinker little baby here. It's a cup of sugar, y'all, if anyone's asking. And I used Ow. domino sugar. So then I take the tea bags and strain them. I think he just likes to watch me do everything. So he always wants me to pick him up. He's just a rotten little boy. But I know one day I won't have this moment. Huh. Oh. Let's <laughs> see, that makes it all better. Huh? Give me sugars. Give mama sugar. And the tea is done. Yay! Wrap some tater tots. Yep. The tater tots I fry up for about 20 minutes on 400, and in, halfway in between, I kind of shift them and flip them in my cabinets, literally. Trying to, because I'm short, no, and my ladder's broke. To clean out this cabinet that's a catch all cabinet because I'm tired of everything. Like, y'all gotta have a catch all something, catch all cabinet, catch all drawers. I'm going to get this cleaned out and hopefully um, reorganize it. In my Mother's Day cards from last year, first Mother's Day without masks. If you had children, had asthma, know it. This is, I haven't had to buy this as much lately. It's old. It actually expired. Discard that stuff. Recycle the little plastic thingies. Um, Y'all wouldn't believe how many boxes of that I would go through. I mean, we would probably have one a week at least. And when she was sick, two, two boxes every couple of days. Um, just it seemed that way anyhow, but it did go through two boxes every like week. I wish there was a cure for asthma. 
trying to um, scar these, and it's kind of emotional for me. Recycle oh, this stuff. So these have expired. These were Levi's, so Massey had some she used, and she's actually working on using his because, I mean, he didn't use it as often as she used the same thing. But I actually got this a few days before she died for Levi because he was sick. And, oh, y'all. Just not seeing this little bitty vial. My daughter took breathing treatments on the daily with this, just about. It's emotional because that part of mine. It's a blessing that it's not, I don't have to worry about this. But it hurts. I just want to go back sometimes. I don't know where she is. I know God's purpose and plan. It doesn't mean I have to understand it all the time. Whoa. Whoa. I'm okay with it. It hurts. No, yeah, Hi. 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 Tots came out crunchy. Hi. Right in my air fryer. My mama gave it to me. And I'm feeding the little ones and hot dogs with it. I had leftover hot dogs, so they're just what we're eating. And those are bubbling up. What are you doing? She's looking at Madison. She's looking at Madison. Got done with the uh, lunch. I love a lot of cheese and ketchup. Change <laughs> number two of the day. Nap time! I play time! <laughs> Give him a sleep, nice. y'all. A couple weeks worth of medicine for Madison for people who've never understood. Right there, you're staying asthma. Um, this is like two, three works, maybe three weeks worth of medicine and vials. Uh, this reason I have them all out like this is because they expired. I never had a chance for beautiful for all to expire in the house but this doesn't include um any more steroids or trips to the doctor or shots extra shots she's had to have and i mean that's it right there in a little nutshell the, only, the other thing you never think about doing when you have children is cutting nails and mine is time six for the children anyway and it grows up Ew. So my toenails are bigger than my nails. <laughs> okay, y'all. I haven't finished today. I'm trying to do the whole day of the life of with mom. Um, but right now I'm cooking supper. Uh, so I got to put away for later. And I'm cooking meat. We're going to do a little okay. um, cheesy beef. Potato casserole. So I'm cooking. I'm grounding it. I'm picking up my beef here. This is some extra beef I had in the corn, I think, too, for the side. Trying to finish unloading the dryer. And some of the kids get something on it. But unloading the dryer is so much fun. Toys really end up in the oddest places, even in the washing machine sometimes. <laughs> I've tried, I don't know how many car Hot Wheels. And yes, the kids help me to clothes a lot. Like they swap clothes over, they take clothes out of the dryer. 
right now they're supposed to be tying up the rooms so mommy is swapping them clothes over and throw them in the dryer so some sheets this is some of the robin arm screws and stuff but a lot of sheets to wash in this family i like to keep clean bed ones on the bed when i can often so this is going to go on cycle next right here do you know that see these dry sheets um, sometimes I put essential oils on a wool ball, but when I use my dryer sheets, sometimes for the kids, you could cut them in half and they last just this long. But that's what I do. I cut mine in half. Does anyone else do that? The shelf's going so far so good, it's took a lot to put up and get rid of. I'm trying to get it clean. My meat is done. I just covered it up. And I'm trying to unload the dishwasher so I can load the dishwasher. Well, I still gotta cut my potatoes and get that ready for um that stuff for spray for supper. Now I'm peeling the potatoes because I'm going to I don't have a lot. I wish I had more, but they might be just enough. I'm you going to <laughs> Anyway, I'm doing the potatoes. So I can make this casserole. It's gonna be a cheesy beef potato casserole with hamburger beef in the middle, potatoes on the bottom with cheese, and you layer with the burger. So I'll show you. I'm gonna butter this dish and I'm gonna put a layer of potatoes in the bottom. Okay. So now I'm going to layer them. Okay, y'all. So this was one of my mama's miracle meals one night. And I just made it up and it turned out to be a big hit. So I'm going to probably cook it often. But you're going to layer the potatoes. Now you're going to layer the beef. I got to get the cheese out of the refrigerator. We, hubby, assistant here. Oh, going to get the cheese. <laughs> So you're going to, I put some cream and mushroom soup in here, onion and garlic, and you're gonna layer it and spread it over the first layer of potatoes. I layered my potatoes pretty thick on the bottom, but, and then you take the cheese and you layer cheese. layer of potatoes on top then another layer of cheese yeah yummy so um we think cook channel i know liam's being right to leave you tell me what he just did <laughs> <laughs> levi got on to him for putting stuff in his mouth so levi picked him up and he started smacking levi in the face and laughing at his and brother he would not hit him hard bad, but he's not so he got down and he walked off and he picked up something else he looked at Levi and he went. <laughs> he laughed. It's okay. Potatoes, and you're going to start layering the potatoes over this, and you're going to, I'm going to butt mine up to 375. Bake them. Get tea bags for the tea. Uh, about, I check it at 30 minutes. So I'm going to set my timer for 30 minutes. And I usually check it in between load the dishwasher with the rest of this mess Stop. all right table off because i've been working on getting the kitchen clean today and there's stuff all over the table from our trip um some stuff my mom gave me and a few other things so i'm trying to put my bread up Think about tomorrow's meal so i'm going to actually pre-soak some Camellia red beans. Soak them overnight so they can be ready to cook tomorrow. Anyone else soak their beans? Another load.
it's done. I'm going to serve it on my plate now. Me and the kids now, so this is kind of almost the end to the day routine, other than bath time and chicken and animals. Food. What are you eating? Huh? Yeah, Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. Thank you for this food. Thank you for everything you have given. Thank you for this yummy food. Mine, with a little bit of sour cream. Yeah, it's the end of the day. Moon's out. Sun's got went down. A little bit of sun left. And it's hot. It's hot. Scoot over near the light a little We're bit, baby. Still sweating. We're still sweating. It's the end now of my. Go inside. Get the kids ready for bed. Get some dishes Wrap done. Up Wrap up the night. But God bless. Be thankful. Keep your faith. Trust God. He's in control. His grace will always show up when you need it. Love y'all. Have a good night. Bye.